back to my channel creative hands by Shea today I am here with uh, another video so I will be making another hat so from time to time I will be uh, making hats because uh, my daughter started daycare um, recently and I wanted to make her some hats so instead of making them uh, off camera I will just do a tutorial on them so each one I will just make a video so um, to make my hat today I will be using this 4.0 millimeter crochet hook to make the ribbon of the hat and for the top part of the hat I will be using this uh, 5.0 millimeter crochet hook I hope you can see that well so I have this color yarn here. This one is tan. Uh, this is just the leftover from what I previously used before on another project. And um, this one is a size uh, 4 medium yarn. And it is a uh, Red Heart Super Saver yarn. I also have this one here, which I will be using for the top part of the hat. Um, this one is a Super Saver Stripes. And it is a Sutherland stripe so it is the same size yarn as well size 4 medium and uh, that's what I would be using to make the hat so you're gonna need your scissors your yarn needle and also your measuring tape so I actually bought this one the other day I really like uh, the way how it works it works pretty well and I've only paid um, I think it's about seven dollars I paid on Amazon for it and you're going to need a stitch marker. This is optional. You don't have to use this. But if you want to use a stitch marker, that's fine. So guys, if you're new to my channel, please do subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified each time I post a video. And to my regular viewers and subscribers, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. So guys, let's jump in the video. So guys, we're going to start off by making the rib of the hat. So I'm going to use in my 4.0 millimeter crochet hook. And you're going to insert your hook, wrap it around, and make a slip knot. Now that you have your slip knot, you're going to pull down on your hook. Make sure that your hook is sliding through. And then you're going to chain 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. After that, you're going to flip over your work. We'll be working in the back because it gives a cleaner edge when you work in the back loops. So now you're going to skip this first stitch here and you're going to go in the second one. So we will have a total of uh, nine stitches going down. So we're going to make our single crochet. So insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through insert pull up a loop yarn over and pull through insert pull up a loop yarn over and pull through so that's how you're going to start off doing your single crochet uh, working in the back loop So now I'm at my last one here and then I'm going to chain one and turn my work. Now when you turn your work you're going to be seeing the stitches to the front here. We're going to be working in the back. So when you turn over you will see the ones in the back here. So these one here, this is where we're going to start working. So you're going to skip this one and you're going to go in the second one and you're going to make your single crochet. So this is how we're going to continue doing this, making this ribbon for the hat. Just doing basic uh, single crochet right down 
to the bottom and then chain one and start the same process all over again. And we're going to do this for a total of uh, 54 rows. So make sure that when you're doing your stitches, make sure that you always have nine stitches down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. That's when you know that you are on the right path. And then turn your work. Once you chain your one, you turn your work. And then you go right back in that back loop there and continue making your single crochet. And as I stated, we're making 52 rows. So I'll see you at the end of making my 52 rows. So now I am at the end of my last row here and I'm just making my last two stitches. And then what I'm gonna do is I am going to flip this over. No, I'm on, on the other side. So I want to make sure that this tail is on this side here. And then I am going to insert my hook in this first stitch here. So I'm going to grab this one here and I'm going to pull that through. Once I pull that through, I am going to chain one and I'm going to go into that same uh, stitch. But instead of going through both loops on the other side, I'm going to go through the loop in the back. So if you look closely, you will see that these loops here in the front are the one considered the front loops and the one on this side here would consider the, loop, the loops in the back. So I am going to go right in the back of that loop. And I'm going to pull through and make slip stitch. So you're going into both loops on this side here and into the back loop of the other side and slip stitch. So both loops, back loop on the other side and slip stitch. Both loops, back loop on the other side and slip stitch. So continue doing that and I'll see you at the end of this round. So guys, now I have come to my last stitch here and I insert into my both loops here and I am going to go into the back loop of this one here, pull through and make my last slip stitch. And now I am just going to chain one and I am going to cut my yarn. Here is my scissors. So now you can see how it looks on this side and how it looks on this side. So you can see that it is um, very neat and it's not showing actually where the joining uh, really is. So it's kind of invisible. So now you're going to flip your work over. You can either start from here on this side or you can start on this side here. But I will start on this side with my next yarn. So I'm just going to get that. I'm, and I'm also going to change my hook. And I'm changing my hook to use the 5 millimeter. Okay. So I'm just going to start uh, here in this first in this first row here. So I'm just going to insert my hook. And I'm going to chain one and just tie this part here just to make sure that it is secured. Let me just pull that out.
Okay, so it is tied onto it, so I'll just leave it and I will chain one, two, and to enter that same uh, part here, I am going to make a double crochet. So this is our first double crochet. So we should have a total of uh, 52 double crochet once we're done making our double crochet. I'm just going to put this here so I can weave that in. And I'm going to go into the next row. Right in the top there. And make my next double crochet and into the next one here and make in double crochet so this is going to be the sequence for this round just double crochet in each row and as I stated you should have a total of 52 double crochet at the end of your first round here continue doing that and I'll see you at the end of this round so now I have come to the end of making my double crochet and I have a total of 52 uh, double crochet here so I am going to make a slip stitch in this first double crochet here And then I'm going to chain two, one, two, and uh, into this first, same first double crochet, we're going to make front pose and back pose uh, double crochets. So yarn over, put your hook under your double crochet like that, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through two, pull through the next two. Again, we're going to yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, and pull through. Now we have done that uh, one, two, three, and four. So now that we have made four front uh, post double crochet, we're gonna make four back post double crochet. So to work in the back, once you, you wrap your hook over your, sorry, your yarn over your hook, you are going to push your hook from in the back like this and pull through. Pull up that loop and make your double crochet. Yarn over again. And pull up that loop. Yarn over again. Working in the back loop in the back post here and we should have four sets of back posts so it's one two three four and then we're going to make four sets of front posts so this is going to be the sequence the sequence sorry for this round here continue doing four front posts and four back posts so i will see you at the end of this second round here so now i am back at the beginning of where i started and i am going to make a slip stitch into my first double crochet here and i'm going to chain two and in that same double crochet here we're going to make uh, another set of front posts 
double crochets. So we'll be doing a total of four rows just as we started. So I did front post as uh, before. Now I'm doing front post again. And now we're going to go back post. So after this row, we're going to make another row uh, doing the same exact thing, starting from front post to back post. So now, so I started front post here, now I go to back post, now I'm going back to front post. So you're going to have another row of this same sequence and then I will see you at the end of that row and I'll show you what to do next. So now I have come to the end of my fourth row and I am going to make my slip stitch here in my first double crochet chain two, one, two, and this is how it looks. So I have four rows of starting with front post, then back post, front post, then back post. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do four rows of starting with on the back post. One, two, three, and four. So now where we had back posts, we will be doing front posts. One. Two, three, and four. Moving on to front post again, we are going to go and work in the back of this row. So we're doing the reverse. For the next four rows. So from here onward, we will be making our rows like this starting with back posts. So I'm just going to finish this and I'll meet you back at the end of this row. So now I have come to the end of making my double crochet here. So I'm just gonna make my slip stitch here in this first double crochet, chain two, and start my um back post double crochet here so remember we are making four rows so this will be the second row of starting in the back post and then we have two more rows to do after this to complete our fourth 
row of making a double crochet in the back starting in the back post so now I'm going into the front And now I'm going into the back so continue doing this same sequence and I will meet you at the end of my fourth row and if you want to use a stitch marker at this time you can do so to mark where you started your first row working starting in the back loops so technically that will be here so you can put your stitch marker in this first row here because this is the row where we actually started making our back post double crochet on top of our front post here so just that um you don't get mixed up or you don't miss your count you can mark it with your stitch marker so I will be finishing this row and then I will have two more rows of the same sequence to do and I will see you at the end. So now I have come to the end of row 8 and I am going to make my slip stitch into my first double crochet there and chain my two. And then uh, we're, we're going to flip back and we're going to make... Um, double crochet in the front post now so yarn over and insert your hook and make your double crochet in the front post And now that we got to here, we're going to make back posts. So insert in your hook and work in, in the back. So continue doing this same sequence and I'll see you at the end of row 9. So now I have reached to the end of row 9 and I will be making my slip stitch in this first double crochet here. And I'm going to chain 2 and I will start row 10 making front post double crochet. So we're just going to continue making this same sequence here. making front post double crochet and then back post double crochet so we're going to continue uh, for two more rows so that would technically be uh, 12 row 12 when we're finished so we're making four rows of starting uh, front post double crochet so it's just as we did before we're just doing the same thing over again so now we're going into the back post of this one here so I'm just going to continue doing this and I'll meet you at row 12 where I will be at 12 rows so see you then so now I have come to the end of row 12 and I am going to make my slip stitch into the first double crochet here chain my two 
And this is what the hat looks like so far. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do three uh, more row, rows of double crochet. But instead of working in the front here now, we're going to work in the back. So yarn over and work in the back post. Of this first double crochet here so we were working in the front now we're working we're reversing and working into the back post and we're gonna do three rows of this sequence and once we're at our three rows that's where we will complete our hat and uh, attach put the well not attach but um put our hat together so continue doing this always starting in back posts when you're starting a new row and we're only doing three rows of this sequence here so we're we're doing our first row and we have two more rows to go so continue doing that and I will see you at the end so guys now I have come to the end of making my hat and I went ahead and I made one more row so instead of having three rows I did another row to complete the hat because I wanted my hat to measure uh, eight inches long so I did another row to uh, make sure that my hat is measuring eight inches. So I am just gonna chain one here and I'm gonna cut uh, ex excess amount so that I can have that to attach my hat together. Okay. I think this amount will do. I'm just gonna pull that through. And I'm going to use my needle. Just get another needle here. And I'm going to sew my hat together. So, working in the top part of the hat, I'm just going to go in and out and I'm just skipping some of my stitches because I don't want it to be that close so I'm skipping like two stitches at a time so I won't go in here and I will go in this one here so I'm just basically going in and out and out to put my hat together Okay, I just want to know where I have my first one there. Okay, so now I am at the beginning of where I started here. And I'm just going to pull that together. So I'm pulling and using my finger to put in the hole so that the hat can come together and then what I'm gonna do now is just basically sew that part up I'm 
just going to do a tie. And then fasten off. And I went ahead and I made a pom-pom here. So I'm just going to attach that to my hat. I'm just going to flip this part over. And just do just some sewing to make sure that my pom-pom is well secured. So I'm just going to continue doing this and I will see you at the end of my sewing. So guys, this is the end look of my hat. It is looking very cute. I love this basket stitch and the pom-pom at the top. Uh, this, got, this hat actually can be worn two ways. It can be worn down like this. I actually made the ribbon uh, long because I want this to this hat to cover my daughter ears when she is wearing it. So um, you can either turn the hat up like this, so it can be worn this way. It looks really cute this way as well, or you can turn it back down and wear it, wear the hat this way and as I stated before uh, if you want to wear your hat along and you want it to be longer you can add more rows to your hat so guys if you love this tutorial and you love the way how it turns out please do give this video a thumbs up share this video like this video comment tell me what you think and if you're new to my channel please do subscribe hit the notification bell so you can be notified each time I post a video until next time guys bye